lot of San Diegans are struggling to pay their utility bills, and now one local representative is calling on the state to help. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Kirsten Holmes. Marcella Lee has the night off. For weeks, we have been looking into those high SDG&E bills. People are frustrated, and a lot of people can't afford the recent rate hikes. County Supervisor Jim Desmond is now calling on the state to step in. In tonight's Amped Up coverage, CBS 8's Shannon Handy has more on the letter he wrote to the governor, as well as the Public Utilities Commission. In that letter, County Supervisor Jim Desmond argues the state is expected to have a multi-billion dollar budget surplus this year. And since that money belongs to taxpayers, some of it should be used to offset some of those fees you see on your stg and &E bills. About 10 or 15 calls a day is what we're getting. For the past several weeks, San Diego County Supervisor Jim Desmond has been hearing from people daily, many of whom say they can't afford their sdg and &E bills. And most, like I said, the people that are contacting me are the ones on fixed incomes, and they're the ones that are just kind of scared. They're saying, wait a minute, you know, I, I, you know, my rent's going up, and, you know, it's more, cost me more money to go buy food these days put gas in the car so uh, you know is there any way you can help and get some relief on wednesday desmond sent this letter to both governor gavin newsom as well as the california public utilities commission asking for just that it starts off with requesting that the state quote immediately implement measures to alleviate rising energy costs providing relief to the ratepayers of san diego Specifically, Desmond suggests the state use part of its expected $45 billion surplus this year to offset certain state-mandated programs sdg &E customers pay for, such as the wildfire relief fund, infrastructure projects, and public benefit programs for low-income ratepayers. It's our money. It's the people's money. And so what I'd like to see is some of that surplus being put towards those, that, you know, particularly people on a fixed income and seniors, people, people like that, who can't afford, you know, these higher rates. On Tuesday, CBS 8 sat down with an sdg and &E executive who talked about programs that help people pay their bills. What do you have to say to people who simply can't afford their bills right now? Well, we've got lots of uh, programs for our customers. But Desmond says that's not enough, which is why he's pushing the state to step in and do more. Affecting all of us and those on fixed income are really coming up short here. To our knowledge, Jasmine is the only local representative to make this specific request. He sent the letter out this morning and at this point has not received a response.